What's up, Israel Collective? It's Raj, and I am in Bethlehem. Well, technically, I'm in Beit Sahor, which is a town next to Bethlehem. So what does Bethlehem actually mean? And there's a field of biblical importance right around the corner. So what happened there? Let's find out. Before I get into it, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because Israel Collective is always dropping new content. Now, the word Bethlehem, Beit Lechem, Bethlehem. In Hebrew, Beit means house and Lechem means bread. So Bethlehem means house of bread and Jesus is the bread of life. And so he was born in the house of bread, which is pretty cool. But I think understanding Hebrew is so important to understanding scripture. Like even the word, the, the word Beit, right? The word for house. If you start to understand that, you can start to piece together other things like Beit El. So El is kind of a word for God. So Beit El, house of God. So when you hear like Bethel music, Beit El, Beth El, that just means house of God. And when you start to connect that Hebrew, you start to understand the scripture better. I guess so. What do you think about Bethlehem? Kingdom living. <laughs> Now over here is the shepherd's fields where you would hear in Luke 2 when the shepherds heard about that there was a baby born in Bethlehem, which is just around the corner. So this is also known as the place where Ruth and Boaz met. And another thing is that people think Bethlehem and Jerusalem, that must be super far apart from each other. It's six miles. This land is very, very tiny. People here speak Arabic. And uh, let me tell you, some of the most amazing Christians I've ever met in my life live here in Bethlehem. It's an incredible place. You don't want to miss it. But at the end of the day, this is the birth birthplace of Jesus. And as we read in, in scripture in, in Luke 2, it says that Joseph and Mary came down here because of the census to the land of Bethlehem in Judea, the town of David. So uh, according to the gospel of Luke 2000 years ago, this was the land of Judea. So I hope those few little nuggets uh, helped you understanding what Bethlehem means. If you want to understand scripture better, you want to understand your faith better, definitely come to the Holy Land because your life will never be the same. All right, from Bethlehem, I'm Raj. God bless.